Now what does this do? Is this for like turrets and shit? Yeah. Too bad I'm like access restricted. But, let's see. I can uh, disable turrets. There you go. And then I can disable robots. Link to the security hub. Now let's see what I can do. I love you, Praxis Points. Let's see. Yep, I can disable. Now I can go for like enemies. Is that what I can do? Enemies. Enemies. Now they're all friendly, huh? Would sure seem that way. Come on, give me your gun. Aw, oh, sniper rifle full. So now is that big robot down there, my friend? I don't think so. Seems alarmed. You get headshots on this guy. Whoa, he does some damage. Can I break this? Oh, shit. Sounds like he's going after me again. Huh. I don't know how many shots it's going to take to get rid of this guy, but... I could always, uh, spam the rest of my heavy weapon at him. Let's see. Oh, shit. Yeah, he is shooting at that guy. Awesome. How do you like it? Still can't tell if that robot... Oh, shit. Self-destruct sequence. <laughs> that works. Hey, I thought I killed this guy. I'm just going to go ahead and waste the rest of this and then pick up the sniper rifle and see what that does. So I'm just going to shoot in his general direction and hope for the best. Yep, see? There it goes. Low ammo. Oh, it overheated. It overheated. Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Go in my inventory, son of a bitch. I'm gonna go in the inventory. I'm going to drop you. And then hopefully I'll have enough room for the sniper rifle. Come on, give me that sniper. There you go. And now, depending on how much ammo it has, six bullets. Six bullets. Let's reload this bad boy. Let me see if I can scope in and take him out. It sounds like your struggles are almost over, Bratan. Is Bark dead? I'm standing. He's not. Good. With Bark out of the picture, as a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to loading bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be opened for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Cool. Well, we defeated Burke and his team. <clears throat> that went better eventually. I don't. I don't even think I can hack this. To be quite honest, is there a? I figured there'd be a. There's an ogre spec ops. I figured. Yep. I figured there'd be. Damn it! Are you kidding me? I fell off of that and died. Are you serious? That was like a six foot drop. I could fall six feet and live. Seriously, how far back am I? Hopefully right after the stupid fight. Cause if not, that's gonna suck. It sounds like your are right, well, thank God. Is Bark dead? I'm standing, he's not. Good. With Bark out of the picture, as a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to loading bay two. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Okay, maybe that wasn't a six foot fall. I thought there was a little platform on the other side. But still, you know. I mean, I, I can see some broken limbs. You know, but I think you'd I think you'd still survive. So what's going on here? How the hell did he die? Did the robot kill him? I can't I don't have enough space, bummer. I guess maybe the robot must have killed him. I didn't do shit and Yep, yeah, there you go. I guess the robot killed him. Sure. We'll we'll go with that. We'll we'll go with that. Let me get down from here. Alright, well anyway, whatever happened, it worked out well for me. I mean, aside from a couple of deaths, like a dumb. 
Other than that, we're good to go. Put all my stuff into the robot hacking, and he pretty much did my job for me. We didn't get to go to the shop, though. I guess I just, I don't know, didn't go to it. <laughs> I thought that's what it was pointing us towards, but whatever. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. A shame you chose not to honor her sacrifice by aligning yourself with us. I couldn't let hundreds of innocent people die just to save one woman. I understand that. But allow me to be blunt. The loss of Dr. Kavanaugh and her knowledge is a blow to humanity greater than the suffering of any group of individuals, innocent or not. It wasn't an easy decision. If I could, I would have saved them all. I do not doubt that, Mr. Jensen. And perhaps you might have, if circumstances had been different. Regardless, although I suppose I should applaud your compassion, I fear it may be for naught. Bell Tower have more than just hired guns at their disposal. And you have left us on uncertain ground. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Another one? How many of these sites are there? If we knew that, I wouldn't have gone to all this effort to expose this one, Bratan. Right. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. Look at him, a master of voices. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands. And we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming... He lives that long. Oh, there you go. And an achievement, and then there's the credits. So, I assume that means we're all mopped up with Deus Ex, uh, the DLC. Now, at the end of this, I don't quite remember how many, uh, how many parts I would have had in total for the DLC. Uh, I think it's going to be below 15, I think. It might be around 15, might be a little below 15. That means that basically this was a 2 to a 3 hour DLC for 15 bucks. I don't know what your opinions on DLC and price point is, but, you know, I don't quite, uh, 
I don't quite agree with a $15 price point for something that was seemingly cut out of the game because there's a three day gap in the game when you get onto the ship to when you wake up, you don't really know what happens and then there's DLC for it. So it's like uh, they might have had to cut some stuff out that they wanted to finish but because of uh, the time constraints they had to chop it out and move forward and then release it later as DLC which you know that's fine if you price it uh, well but for 15 bucks I, mean, I don't know the game was originally 50 and uh, that's another 15 so that would put someone into the whole 65 bucks uh, if you bought it for PC if you bought it for console I'm not sure if this DLC came out for console because I don't have this for 360 and I never checked but if you did buy the game and the DLC for the console you would be in approximately $75 USD not counting tax which means you're probably in about 80 bucks and uh, if, at that point it pretty much makes the DLC not worth it so unless you were you know a big fan and wanted to know what happened or just wanted some more Deus Ex stuff to do then it might be worth it but I mean for 15 bucks I, Orcs Must Die is 15 bucks and that's gonna give you a lot more time than uh, than the DLC gave you unless you play it a lot slower which you know whatever everyone moves at their own pace but I mean, you could buy Orcs Must Die and get more out of it or you could pay an extra five bucks more and get uh, and get uh, the heist payday the heist or if you buy the four pack of payday the heist like we did you only pay 15 bucks a copy so you could get payday the heist if you bought four copies uh, at 15 bucks the way we did it we had uh, one person buy the four pack and then we PayPal that person 15 bucks each and uh, four of us got it for 15 bucks so I'm just I'm just trying to give some recent examples of stuff that would be better to use 15 bucks on like I, I like Deus Ex as much as the next guy but a $15 DLC that only lasts two hours I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be in love with that I mean orcs must die I'm already at part uh, like 15 on that and I still have a good nine levels to go or so so I'm easily gonna get five hours out of that 15 bucks which and the game's good the DLC was was all right. I mean, it was good. Doesn't do anything bad. Doesn't do anything great. It's just more Deus Ex: Human Revolution. And uh, well, that's that's the opinion. So whether or not you like it, I'm sorry, but I'd assume a lot of people would also be like, "Huh, 15 bucks for two hours? I don't know about that." I mean, people are already up in arms about. Uh, the Call of Duty DLC usually being 15 bucks for for some maps which I guess it depends Do you want to play competitively on some maps uh, depends on how much you play and then the zombie maps so it really just falls to an opinion but that'll pretty much mop it up we're done with this we can move on uh, and focus on some of the other stuff a little bit more I still have Resident Evil Orcs Must Die and uh, Batman to get done uh, and by Resident Evil I mean Assignment Ada and separate stories, which I do plan on doing Assignment Ada at some point. So, there's that. But now that we've mopped this up, I'm actually kind of glad in a way this was short. Because it'll allow me to focus on the other stuff. So, that'll about wrap it up for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you bought the DLC, hope you enjoyed the DLC. And I uh, hope you're not too mad about that price point. I'm not that mad about it. I know, I'm just going off of off of other people's uh, perceptions because of how much crap people give Activision for releasing their maps at 15 bucks I would imagine it kind of might be the same for some people who want to get this DLC and find out it's gonna be about two two and a half hours of time so I don't know I I had fun with it just maybe not 15 bucks of fun so wrapped up